Hello everyone, welcome to Book Week 2021. We have been blessed with all the wonderful activities Mrs Monda has arranged for us. I love the beach, especially rocky shores and most especially rock pools. So when Mrs Monda asked me to read this story, I was absolutely thrilled. It's about a lonely little anemone who simply wants a friend. Our story was written by Anna McGregor, An Enemy is Not the Enemy, and it's one of the books that's been shortlisted for our Book Council Awards for 2021. So let's get started. I'm so lonely. I hate being stuck here with all the boring barnacles, said our little pink anemone. Got high tide here now. Oh look, new friends. Oh no, it's an enemy. Whatever you do, don't get too close. Why? said all the little fish in the corner of the pool. Hi guys, what's happening out there? Don't ask, said all the little fish with rather grumpy looks on their faces. You've seen some cool things. Pirates, mermaids, kraken. Tell me everything. Hello. And the little fish all replied, This is making me nervous. We've got low tide now. You can see the water's gone out. So all the fish are really, really close to our sea anemone. Uh, Oh, wonder what they're scared about. Sting! Guess that hurt. Sorry, I can't help it, said our little anemone. As soon as the tide comes in, we're out of here, said all the little fish. I'm trying to make friends, not enemies. So why do I always sting everyone? I did it to the seahorse. I did it to the starfish. I even stung the sea cucumber. What a pickle that was. It's no wonder everyone avoids me. We've got high tide now and we can see our rock pool's completely full of water again. But our sea anemone is looking rather lonely. I'd rather take my chances out here, said one of the fish. Good luck, clowny! And we've got a little clownfish coming in the corner. Hi! Nice hair! Not hair, but thanks said the anemone. This rock pool is great, said our little clownfish. Is it? said the anemone. And down in the corner of our page I can see a little hermit crab who's found a perfect little house to live in. Now I've got a king tide, that's when the water comes in really really high and it looks like the water has bought something rather ferocious. Uh-oh, said our little anemone. Anemone, I'm coming in, said our little clownfish. But I'll... I wonder what our clownfish is going to do. Sting! We've got lots of unhappy looking characters here. Wow! I didn't sting you, said our anemone. We're good together. Finally, I've got a friend. But I suppose you'll be going back to the big, exciting ocean. See, an anemone looks a little bit sad. Nah, we've got a good thing going here 
said the clownfish. The ocean looks rather fierce with some rather fierce looking sharks and octopuses. Ah! Those fish are rather scared. Believe me, said the clownfish. That's the end of our story. It looks like our clownfish and our anemone have made some really, really special friendships. And we've got some fun facts here. Fun fact number one. Clownfish and sea anemones have a special relationship. Clownfish are immune to sea anemones' poisonous tentacles. Immune means that they can't get hurt by things. And these provide the fish with protection from predators. And predators are someone who wants to come and eat you or hurt you. In return, clownfish clean sea anemones by eating algae and other food scraps off them. The scientific name for two species helping one another is symbiosis. Our next fun fact is about hermit crabs. Fun fact number two. Hermit crabs don't grow their own protective shells like other crabs. Instead, they must use a discarded sea snail shell. It's discarded means to throw away. They use discarded sea snail shells for protection from predators. That's people who wants to eat them up. As a hermit crab's body grows, it must upgrade to a larger shell. And our final fun fact, tides are the rise and fall of oceans caused mainly by the moon's gravitational pull on the earth. And gravity is what actually holds us onto the earth as well. So we've learned a whole lot about anemones and clownfish and our beautiful little hermit crabs there, which is one of the reasons why some beaches are protected and you're not allowed to actually go and collect too many shells because our little crabs need them. So there's some lots of really, really fun facts and a really, really brilliant story. So I hope you enjoyed it and learned a little bit about friendships as well.